All right, guys. So, uh, Baden has a monster flashlight story for you. Oh, all right. Um, Ow. So the story I was told <coughs> by a friend of mine was that uh, this so this guy Mark, right? I know him. He's a cool dude. And he bought a flashlight when they first came out, because Mark's a little bit older than us. And basically. Um... When I feel like flashlights are not like that new of an invention. They're not. They came out like. Pro I'm, I want to say this maybe was like, 2010 or earlier. Don't quote me on like the time frame of when this happened. Okay. But um, all I know is he bought them when they first came out. That's that's what I was told. Okay. And so the thing is, yeah, is uh, he it. is like just aggressively fucking this in the shower because apparently he got like a he got like a dick ring earlier mm -hmm. and he like had to wait for it to heal oh this is an aggressive story but yeah so it heals and he's like all right i'm gonna like destroy this thing and while he's you know fucking it he slips and falls and in the shower in the shower oh, and he sucks. and he breaks the like the casing Would it's in me? and he's like oh man like that sucks and he goes on like a forum for like the from the website that he bought it off of and he's like maybe i can get a hold of somebody see what i do like see what i can do so he's talking to a guy from customer service for it and uh he goes yeah like i broke it and he goes oh like you broke the sleeve all right like no that's like the flashlight itself he's like oh you broke the sleeve all right whatever like no big deal and then uh mark's like no like dude i broke like the casing it's in and the guy's like Wait, are you fucking serious? And like he immediately like his tone changes and he's like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> and Mark's like, why? And he's like, what'd you do? Fucking run it over? <laughs> and he's like, nah, dude. I, and they're like, how did you break that? They were like, dude, we test that. It's supposed to be made from this like damn near indestructible plastic. Oh, damn. Like the thing he bought. And he was like, how the fuck did you break that? And he was like, I don't know, dude. I was fucking in the shower and I fell. <laughs> And they were just like, all right, uh, well, like, we're gonna have to talk to, like, somebody, like, I'll be right back. And the guy, like, puts him on hold, comes back, and he's just like, yeah, like, we're gonna, I guess, send you a new fucking thing, because that's not supposed to happen. Like, wow. those are not supposed to break. That's pretty crazy. Right. Wow. Well, it ended up working out for him in the end. Yeah. yeah. Flashlight. Yeah, it's fucking insane. Baden, let me borrow your flashlight. Ew. <laughs> Gross. That's <laughs> disgusting. No, no go, dude. <laughs> big, big gnarly. Oh, a little, little exchanging of the fluids never hurt anybody. That is like, just that, that sentence alone makes me like want to go take a shower. <laughs> you don't want to exchange some fluids? Like, hard pass. Oh, it'll be great. Oh, fucking rude. I'm getting hungry. How? Oh, yeah, that sewer makes me hungry too. <laughs> How? Yeah. I go for like a rat steak. Makes no sense, Jimmy. Milk steak. <laughs> milk steak. I love me some milk steak. Charlie Boiled probably has heart. eaten some milk steak in the sewers before. Yeah, I was about to say we're probably about to run into Charlie. Yeah. Just beating up some rats with yeah, a baseball he's definitely bat. Yeah, down here. We got the nice. rod of waste. And Mr. Twig. Good. He was in the sewer all along. Mr. Twig. Dude, Mr. Twig sucks. Yeah, I like Mr. Hat. Everybody likes Mr. Hat. He's fucking awesome. I didn't realize that that was like part of the game. I was like, is someone's like phone going off and playing fucking pan flute music right now? When I was talking earlier, that, that kept distracting me. <laughs> like I kept hearing it in my ear and I was like, what the fuck is that noise? Why did these hobos command a mutant rat? <laughs> Do you guys know about, uh, uh like, hobo, uh, like, script, I guess? I don't really know what to call it. I, like, don't, like, know. What? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. What? Is that, am I just saying like a lot? Or... <laughs> Continue. So, there's this weird language for, like, railroad people, I guess? Like, if you're just, like, a traveling... Railroad person? person in America, like there's like a code they have, and you it's mean like like a vagabond. 
No, or like, like a like, train conductor, like a hobo, like uh, like so a, a vagabond. A vagabond, yes. Like if you're like a the, vagabond. The first thing that I said. Yeah, yeah. If you're just like, a, and it's like this weird the passenger. Like, and he ride and he ride and he, and he ride. Yeah, and it's like a code they have, and you'll see like on buildings and shit like a symbol, oh, I healed Jimmy. and it, it like translates like to shit like it means stuff to them like uh. This one symbol, like, if you see it, it's like, okay, this place isn't friendly to homeless. Or, like, this symbol is, like, cops come by here a lot. Like, this symbol is, like, there's people who might, like, kick your ass or something. Another Makes symbol sense. is, like, safe place to sleep. Uh, one place is, like, might be able to get food here. Shit like that. And, uh, if you go to, like, if you go to, like, cities and stuff, it's, like, actually there. That's cool. Yeah. Ooh, you just gotta know where to look. Bye, Jimmy. I keep wasting all my revived tacos. I'm not gonna do it this time. I'm just gonna murder this angry hobo. Uh. Yeah, that's right, bitch. That's not nice. That's not hey. Nice. hey. Yeah, nice. I read about it one time online, and then ended up just looking up a whole bunch of stuff. And I was like, one day I'm gonna get lost, and just no hobo code. Shouts out to hobos. And be like, that place means safe place to sleep. I'm good. Um, you guys gotta go through some rough shit, and I apologize for that. Can I? Nope. Do you know, uh, Hawaii has a really bad homeless problem? Uh, you yeah, know I believe it. <clears throat> what other place has a really bad homeless problem? California. Colorado. I can believe that, too. Wait, actually, no. Nah, Colorado gets cold. I um, that's sucking. Well, the reason that Colorado has such a bad homeless problem is because uh, legal weed has done so well there that they've built up all of these like really nice housing complexes and shit from it. Where the fuck am I supposed to go right now? Like, you have to uh, you have to turn uh, okay. one of these johns here. I got it. But um, anyway, so all these really nice houses are being built and all of these people are coming to Colorado to try to get jobs in this new industry. But because none of them, you know, they're all middle working class people. And these are really like quality architecture things that are being built. Like everyone that is going there has no place to live because there's no affordable housing. It's like yeah, a, man. it's like a green rush. Yeah. It's like a gold rush. Yeah. Yeah. You rat Help, yeah. And, um, uh -oh, fucking, they also like angry. are not allowed to like tent out in cities and shit anymore. Yeah. I, I can't hear you. We're kind of in the middle of something. Shouts out to my dad. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> he is a homie. 420. Uh, did I set a timer? Yeah, I did. Okay. You just have that, like, extreme anxiety moment for a second. Yeah. You're like, oh, Jesus. I always am afraid I'm going to wow. sleep through an alarm. That is a strong when I set it. Yeah. Because, like, I know I can easily do it. Oh, dude, I sleep through alarms. What uh dude I just like yeah, I, just I like don't sleep and it's so bad I had a nice lance that she said that that she said set up her the maiden from Stoneberry who is also your mom Oh what That's a song amazing bars Nice. Damn. Dang. That's dirty. That's so uh, it's probably like the better that you press the button the less that he stutters. Maybe. I, I feel like he's still hard, is gonna though. stutter. Yeah. Damn, this is uh not looking good for my boy here. <laughs> Gotta love Sorry, it. Jim. Uh I'ma just go right for the, the boss baby. Uh. Mama rat. Four twenty. Hoping that would end the fight. I love that your fire thing does 420. Yeah, me too. 4, 5, 20, blaze it, bro. This music is too epic for fighting small rats. These are ah. mean ass rats, though. Yeah, they are. I fucked them up. Thanks so much, mister. I yeah, I got you, bro. I'm glad I could prevent you from being a floater. I live to serve. Like, fuck. Why can't I shoot those? Which way did I come from? 
Honestly, there, dude, I don't even remember. Or did I come from this way? I'm assuming not. I feel like this is also like a lost fucking woods, but it's just a sewer themed. But version. like, yeah, at least this is like more of a linear type dungeon that like is not confusing as fuck. Hell yeah, we pulling switches. You can't do nothing, son. Where did Jimmy go? He just like is go. Oh, jeez. Well, I don't know why that gets me every time. Give me this. Open up this drone. Give me that. Where's this last poo baby? He must be near. Damn. Would you guys eat food you found in a bag in the sewer? Um, no. No, I would not. Uh, probably But what if you saw, sounds... like, the hobo code and it was like, yo, food You're stash. <laughs> Define bag. Like that duffel bag. No. <laughs> if it was like a sealed item, like a bag of M&Ms or something, then like, yeah, sure. You just open it and it's In like the a, a perfectly made, untouched, yeah, like, like, turkey they're... club. Yeah, it's fine as long as it's still in the packaging. But it's just like in the duffel bag, but it's like perfect. It looks like out of a movie, like out of a commercial. You're like, wow, this is the best turkey club I've ever seen. Um, and do it's I in a have duffel bag assurances and... that an angry homeless man will not come attack me for stealing his dinner? No, you just, you found this sandwich in the sewer. And you're then like, I will leave it be. I, I feel like I'm going to eat the mystery sandwich. Mm, a lot I feel of like questions you're going to get attacked by a homeless person because you stole his dinner. Stole his, like, super sandwich that, yeah. like... Don't do that. It's mean. Oh, he jacked up. Oh, uh, that's not good. That is not good. Oh, well, he died, so it's okay. Oh, that is good. Shouts out to Burning Damage. Shout out saving to my Shout behind. Alright. Oh, and we get to attack again. We're ending this quickly. Bam. You dead. Jimmy keeps dying. I feel, I feel like that's gonna happen. I feel bad. Especially since he's the healer.